to all the amazing members of the Northern Arizona Association of Realtors. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen the National Association of Realtors has pushed back the date for the implementation of the new rules that have come into play uh, following the settlement. Um, the new date for the implementation will be August 17th. So the things we need to really think about is August 17th, every agent must have a buyer representation form signed when working with a buyer, whether that's showing one home, touring five homes, or working with a buyer for months and months until you find their perfect home. You probably have seen, hopefully you've seen, the revit, or the drafts of the new forms from the Arizona Realtors. Um, there are a lot of members that have been working tirelessly in our association to come up with forms to help our agents. There will be a form if you're just showing one home, there will be a form, an exclusive buyer broker form that you're going to, where you're working with the buyer for months and months potentially. Um, or there will also be an amendment to the purchase contract where you can ask a seller for a buyer broker compensation. Please know that there are some amazing members in our association that have been helping with these forms. Um, so we've been very well represented here in Northern Arizona. I want to thank Eric Davis, who was on a forms committee and also thank, um, Chad Dragos and Lisa Pafra, they, along with myself, were on the risk management team at AAR. We're all working very hard to make these forms as good as they can be to make it as easy for you to explain the process to your buyers. An amazing thing that recently came out that we heard is that the VA has decided to temporarily lift their ban on VA buyers paying a buyer per compensation directly. This happened through lots and lots and lots of talking through the National Association of Realtors. So we really do have NAR to thank for this. Nothing is official yet, but we do plan on that ban being lifted temporarily, but shortly here soon. Another big one we have to think about, as we all know, are that the commissions. No buyer broker commission will be published on the MLS starting on August 17th. Please don't try and circumvent this rule. Don't talk about oranges, cookies, no flowers in a vase. If you are trying to circumvent this rule, there will be heavy repercussions for anyone who violates this buyer broker compensation rule. Brokers, please be on the lookout for a, an invitation to a broker breakfast. Um, we plan to have a broker breakfast sometime in July. Uh, invitations will be going out soon, but we know we need to get all of the industry leaders together so that we can talk about how to implement these changes and how to get the inf information out to our members so that we can have the best informed members in the state and the country. I know we are stressed about having to sign these new forms. Our listing presentation, buyer presentations are changing. We're gonna have to call each other more. Please talk to a seasoned agent who had to use a real estate book before showing property. Um, we have made things so streamlined in selling real estate, which is awesome, but we're having to take a few steps back. And I think we can get some really great perspective in talking to some of these seasoned agents. Another thing that I'm going to implore all of you to do is to go to nar.realtor slash research. The National Association of Realtors does a great job with their research team researching home buyers, home sellers, demographics, any sort of thing that we might need as research for our profession, NAR has done it. But one slide that I love and I believe that you should put in all of your presentations and even hang in your office is a slide that shows that recent home buyers, 75% of them would definitely use their realtor again or recommend them to a friend. And 15% said they would probably use their realtor again or recommend them to a friend. What this tells me is that 90% of recent home buyers loved their agent. Our clients love us, they need us, they're gonna to continue to value what we do. Keep that in mind as you go through these changes. Please feel free to reach out to myself, the board of directors, we're all here to help in any way that we can. Together, we will prevail.